we propose an adaptive, frameless rendering technique capable of interactive rendering at sampling rates drastically lower than required by conventional approaches. Given a fixed number of samples per second, traditional double-buffered rendering can provide high temporal detail by rendering at a high frame rate but low resolution. However, this can result in heavy spatial undersampling artifacts. Instead, one can choose high spatial detail by rendering at a high resolution but at a low frame rate. However, the resulting delay may be unacceptable in an interactive setting. Bishop and co-workers frameless rendering technique samples and immediately updates pixels in random order. This provides low latency and smooth motion during movement, but it introduces very obvious high-frequency noise artifacts. Here we show all three rendering strategies along with our new adaptive frameless approach. The adaptive technique combines the advantages of all three traditional strategies, providing both smooth responsive animation and high quality static imagery. Here we show the image difference between images created with each technique and the ideal image that would be created by a hypothetical zero-delay rendering system. These difference images emphasize the spatial and temporal errors resulting from each approach. We present adaptive strategies for frameless sampling and reconstruction. Sampling uses closed-loop feedback to focus on regions of change, such as edges and motion. A reconstruction step responds to sampling density and space-time gradients. In static regions of the scene, older samples are given significant weight and the image sharpens as they accumulate. In dynamic regions, reconstruction emphasizes more recent samples, resulting in less sharp but up-to-date imagery. Both sampling and reconstruction can incorporate sample reprojection to improve rendering response to camera and object motion. The resulting system greatly improves the visual quality available at a given sampling rate. Here we illustrate the low sampling rate from which we are constructing images. First, we show only the most recent samples. Next, we increase the number of stored samples to the equivalent of 2 frames worth in a traditional renderer at 60 Hz, then to 4 frames worth. Notice how the sampler biases sampling towards edges and continues to track them during motion. This visualization illustrates several components of the system. The lower left corner shows the tiling used by the sampler. Notice how the sampler divorts more tiles and thus more samples to regions of spatial and temporal change. The upper right shows the local sample density, and the upper left shows the tile X, Y, and time gradients mapped to red, green, and blue respectively. Density and gradients are used by the reconstructor to size and shape the space-time filter kernel used for reconstruction. <laughs> 